These saw blades are completely see-through. I made them using glass, bulletproof polycarbonate, and even plastic wrap. Today I'm going to test if they can cut wood better than a normal metal blade. I wanted to make these saw blades because about a year ago, I almost lost my hand using the table saw. Dang. <laughs> and it's terrified me ever since. We've also tested what happens when you touch a saw blade and it's not pretty. Oh, oh my, wow. Then I got curious and Googled how many saw blade injuries there are every year. Look at this, this is insane. 40,000 a year, costing $2 billion in the US alone. This got me thinking that there has to be a better way to make a saw blade that we've been overlooking all these years. If the blade is clear, you'll be able to see what you're cutting and if your hand is getting too close. In the past, I tried glass, but it kept exploding because the saw spin too fast. I have a solution to that, but I also want to try some new materials that don't like exploding as much. The other day while I was putting my leftovers away, I realized I was using a clear material that was pretty strong. Plastic wrap. So why not try using a whole roll to make a saw blade? To start, I just grabbed some 2x4s and started wrapping the wrap into the shape I need. But I'm not a wrapper. We. Oh, thank goodness. It's the end. That was torture. Uh, I'm zoinked after that. Oh, I trapped a bug. Poor little guy, I didn't know I hit him. This might work better than I thought. It's surprisingly robust. I legit have a headache from getting so dizzy earlier. All right, here's what I'm thinking. I take the plastic wrap. I just realized the camera is literally sitting on a huge roll of plastic wrap. I take the plastic wrap and I sandwich it. Bada bing, bada boom, bop, pow. And then we hit it with the heat gun and that should melt it and make it all go into one conglomerate. It may not be epoxy, but I still need to release a mold. There we go. Now I better not see any mold release comments. It's time to bring in the big guns. Uh, I don't think that's doing anything. The problem with both the heat gun and the torch is when you heat it, it spreads out. All right, we at least got to seal the two halves together. The heat gun and the torch failing made me sad, so I decided to cheer myself up by cutting out a piece of glass and seeing if it would work with my new toy. We'll come back to the plastic wrap. All right, before that decides to shatter because of the pressure that's on it, let's cut it. It seems we might need another strategy. I have an idea. What if I drill a hole in the glass so the water jet doesn't have to pierce it? Here's my thoughts though. How do you drill a hole in glass without shattering it? Uh, I'm just gonna try a drill bit and see what happens. This is a stupid idea and because of that, I'm gonna wear a glove. All right, here we go. Now the smarty pants among you will know that glass is harder than metal, however, I am a dummy pants, and that's not gonna stop me. Ah, I pushed too hard. All right, I started using my brain and then just decided to put the weights on the sides and that will hold the glass in place. Crazy what happens when you aren't stupid. If this breaks, I'm gonna shart myself. <laughs> Yay! Now let's see if it works and if I can avoid getting impaled by glass. This is our secret weapon this time around. It is a variac. So it allows you to control the power from here and then turn this comically large dial to turn up the voltage. This thing is awesome. It even has the little voltage meter on the front that goes up as you turn it around. So hopefully with this, our glass saw blade will survive. Before the problem was it was starting so fast, it was jolting and just breaking the saw blade before it could even get going. And then if it survived that initial jolt, it would just spin too fast and the rotational forces would rip it apart. So hopefully this time we can not go top speed and it will keep our glass saw blade intact. Glass saw blade versus balsa wood. 
test number one. Mariac is on. We're turning it up a little bit. Okay, we're at. Oh! What happened, bro? We didn't even get going that fast. It just kind of broke. Good thing I was recording in slow mo, eh? <laughs> There's a tooth stuck in here. Oh, oh. Okay, it looks like the wood kind of gets caught and then it kind of launches up into the blade and that's what cracks it, which is interesting. And it makes sense. I have just one more idea to make this extra flat. Check out what I just got from my mom. The most swag iron ever. Look at this thing. It's got to be 50 years old. My mom's the best. Everybody comment. Thanks, mom. Check out this on switch. Does it get more swag than that? Uh, I think we want the cotton setting. I should probably put some fabric between this and the iron so I don't uh, melt it and catch it on fire. There we go, that ought to do. Desperate times call for desperate measures, all right? I don't think it's supposed to be doing that with nothing on it and no water in it. I come before you broken and defeated, but I have one more idea. Come on, I'll even heat. One more ride. All right, tough guy, let's see how tough you are in a 500 degree kiln. That was too easy. Uh, yep. Let's see if 400's hot enough. All right, I have no idea if this is gonna work or not. We're just gonna try it. Uh, huh. A nice scoop of plastic wrap. This is a lot more solid than I was hoping, which doesn't really make sense because its melting point, according to Google, is around 230 degrees. And I had it at 600. Well, it's uh, kind of looking like marble, so that's cool at least. Uh, come on now. Uh, that didn't really do anything. Let's see what kind of abomination I've created. Oh. Uh, okay. You know what? This could work. It cost me two tiles, but I think we got something to work with here. Not see-through, but kind of silly. That's right about the thickness we would want it at, too. Might have to size the saw blade down a little to fit, but that's okay. All right, it's time to cut this bad boy. We're going to say it is as hard as pine wood. Oh, ho, get a look at that. It's time for the saw blade you've all been waiting for. The saran wrap saw blade. There we go, nice and easy. Very quick installation. All right, this is the saran wrap saw blade, even though it kind of looks like poo. All right, here we go. A little more speed. Uh-oh, nothing a little tape can't fix, eh? Maybe tape can't fix this one. But it's nothing a little wood can't fix. Ha ha! Yeah. Let's try that again. It is indeed melting quite a bit. You can see how soft this plastic is, and it hasn't quite gotten a quarter of the way through the wood. I think it's safe to say saran wrap does not work as a saw blade. Ah! I cut out three more saw blades, count it three glass saw blades, and I have some ideas to see if we can make these work. Idea number one, a little lamination action, anyone? Here we have one laminated glass saw blade, and I'd say it still passes the criteria of being see-through. The clamp fell on me last time, so we're gonna use something else. That's not going anywhere. 
I also found these rubber washers we made last time, but they didn't really work last time because the glass was too thick, but the glass is thinner this time. Attempt number two here. Oh, did Palmer use the wrong file? Oh, this is so cringe. All right. There we go. We're gonna try right where we left off last time. This is glass test two on balsa wood. We're gonna go really slowly with this movement here. Come on, Palmer. Ah. Well, um, it was going really slow, even though I wasn't making contact all the time. So that's odd. Okay, so it's moving, and then it kind of just breaks. Very strange. Breaks again when that other piece hits. Huh. Oh, that guy's loose, but these aren't. What if I turned it on like this? This is the stupid test. Uh. <laughs> that looks so dumb. <laughs> it's like a fan, like a ceiling fan. Just propellers spin around. Oh, and there it goes. <laughs> Broke a tooth in the process. It's time for the laminated blade. Ah, there we go, just like that. Laminated saw blade on balsa wood. Oh, apparently that's all it took. That wasn't even hard. It just cut right through it. If there are any cracks, I can't see them because of the tape. And a not so clean cut on the wood. Let's take it Van Deepa. Laminated glass versus hardwood, pine. Ladies and gentlemen, we have made a successful glass saw blade. <laughs> it is a little damaged. It cut right through the harder wood like it was nothing. Look at this little comparison here. Here in this hand, we have the plexiglass saw blade. You can see how it burnt its way through the wood really bad. And this is the glass saw blade. There's a little bit of burning, but mostly not. I guess this is why they say to be careful when you're playing with glass. Ladies and metal gen, it is time to greet an old friend. Say hello to polycarbonate, or should I say Lexan? Stronger than glass, or so they say. But it's also a plastic-based material, so uh, we'll see how well it does as a saw blade. The best part about this stuff is that you don't have to be careful with it. Ooh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Man. This was not nearly as satisfying as I had hoped. Here we go. This is going to be a good one. Whew. Let's see how the plexiglass blade works. Oh no, it's way too thick. I mean, that's staying on there. We can try it, see what happens. I don't want to be anywhere near this wood, so we'll clamp it down. Oh, that's not going anywhere. All right, we're not getting any younger. Bariac is on. Turn it up a little. Do my eyes deceive me? Look at that. What a clean cut. Plexiglass saw blades coming to a store near you. The blade is perfectly fine. Let's try some harder wood. Ah, what the sigma? That's not going anywhere. All right, plexiglass saw versus pine wood. 
50 volts. I think we can speed it up. How's it not through yet? Finally! I think we might have taken all the teeth off the saw blade. Well, uh, looks like one board is all it can do. Well, it kind of burned its way through. It's still hot. Oh, I think I figured out where the teeth went. Got our elephant's foot here. Wow. If you ask me, this could be in a museum. Plexiglass, Lexan, polycarbonate, whatever you want to call it. Maybe not the best material for saw blades. However, if you're just using balsa, it works like a charm. Here's Johnny. 